Okay, here we have the uh, last question in the practice paper C, um, IALP1 paper. We have here a, um, a scepter of a circle and a triangle kind of stuck together, um, as I mentioned here. And we're asked to find the area of the sector. Okay, let's just see if there's anything important. Okay, the angle is in radians as shown. Okay. All right, so everything that we need is shown there. Okay, so we need to find the area of the sector, Z, W, Y. So just the area of this part, not the whole thing. So the area of a sector is given by the formula, if we are dealing in radians, it's given by the formula half R squared theta, where theta is in radians. So in this case, we can see that the theta is in radians, so it's just a half times the radius squared times the angle. Okay, so let's just find the area then of that. We know the, we know, what do we know? Okay, we know that the area is a half r squared theta when theta is in radians. We know r is five centimeters and we know theta is 0 0.7 radians. So the area is going to be a half times 5 squared times 0 0.7 okay so you have a half times 5 squared times 0 0.7 so 0 0.5 times 25 times 0 0.7 which gives you 35 over 4 which is 8.75 8.75 centimeters squared so there's the answer for part a then part b it tells us um, to find the length of the perimeter x, y, w, x, y, w, z, x. So we've got to find the perimeter of the whole shape here. Okay, so what we've got to do here is as follows. Um, the perimeter is the length of the outline of the shape. So we're going to include x, y, and y, w, and w, z, and x, z. Okay, so for xw, which is all the way from x to w, that's equal to 12 centimeters. That's fine. From there to there is 12. From z to w, it's like the arc from z to w. Now we know that the length of an arc is given by r theta, the radius of the sector times the angle in radian. So here zw is going to be 5 times 0 0.7, which is 3.5 centimeters okay and we need now to find what xz is okay this yw we don't use uh, sorry yz we don't need it because it's inside the shape we need the perimeter of the shape which is the outline of the shape so we don't include yz we need xz now xz is part of this triangle here okay so we know that this length is the same as this length because they're both the radius so this is five centimeters and we can work out what this angle is because this is a straight line. So this angle is pi minus 0 0.7 in radians. Okay, and we know to find the length of a line. Uh, when we know two sides and the angle between the two sides, we can use the cosine rule. The cosine rule states that a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc times the cosine of the angle between the two sides. So now we can see that our xz, let me call it x, we we'll say x squared is equal to, so the two sides are 7 squared and 5 squared, so 7 squared plus 5 squared minus 2 times 7 times 5 times the cosine of the angle between, which is pi minus 0 0.7. So we have to make sure when we proceed that our calculator is in radian mode because we're going to be using trigonometry and angles, so you have to put it in radian mode. Okay, so let me just put this in the calculator and get out the answer. So you're going to have um, the square root of 7 squared plus 5 squared minus, oops, minus 2 times 7 times 5 times the cosine in brackets of pi, oh, there's already a bracket comes up, of pi 
minus 0 0.7. That's the angle, this angle on this side, the obtuse angle, 180 minus 0 0.7. But we're doing radian, so we use pi. Okay, so that should give us the answer. X is 11.2, what was it? 11.293. 11.293. Nine three three dot 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 continues. Now let's see how they ask us to round it. Give the answer to two. Okay, so now we found x and x is our length x z. X z is equal to eleven point two nine three three. In fact, I should leave it like like this. Better. It's not a final answer. Okay. So we should leave it really as 11.2933. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to add these three lengths together. You've got 11.2933 plus 3.5 plus 12. So the perimeter that we need is the sum of those. So you're going to have 12 plus 3.5. Sorry, my pen is playing up right at the end. 12 plus 3.5. Plus 11.2933 should be more than two decimal places because you have to round it in the end to two decimal places. So our total perimeter is going to be this answer plus 15.5. Plus 12 plus 3.5, which gives us 26.7933. 26.7933. Nine three three. So to two decimal places as they require, our answer is the perimeter is twenty six point seven nine. Twenty six point seven nine centimeters, and that that is our answer for this question. Okay. Thank you for watching.